I'm here with my friend Connor and today we're doing some restoration work on a serpentine barrens here. Connor has been managing this site, removing woodies and also helping to get this site burned. And it's a really, really nice spot here. So we're on the edge here. He's working on cutting down this Chinese elm. So this thing's been growing on the edge of this grassland for 10, maybe 15 to 20 years or so. A main target here is this shrub, autumn olive. Fruit is ripening at this time of year too, but this is a bad invasive shrub and it just pushes out onto the grassland. So we're cutting them down and then we're gonna spray them with a little bit of herbicide. It's also a nitrogen fixer too. So as it invades the barrens, it changes the soil chemistry and makes it easier for other invasives to come in. This is the first time I'm seeing world milkweed seed pods here. I've never seen it go into seed. That's really nice. This right here is Sabadia angularis. I introduced this from seed back in 2021 from another serpentine barren nearby. So this is side oats gramma. It's an S2 species here in Pennsylvania. Pretty rare, but it's doing super well on this site. So we're collecting a little bit of this seed to try and grow out. I mean, there's so much of it here. We're going to try and grow them into plugs and use them in landscaping or restoration sites. You can also see black locust. When you cut mature trees down, it sends out runners, which can uh, invade grasslands. Even though black locust is a native tree, it can be a pest in these types of settings. But you can keep that at bay with fire, right? Yeah, we burn this area usually once every year. It will kill the top growth of the black locust, but it re-sprouts. And into the woods a little bit, there are a couple beautiful post oaks, and you can see kind of how much the woodies have encroached into the grassland this way. Historically, post oaks would have probably grown in the grassland, so it just kind of gives you a little bit of perspective. 